My name is Mikhail Hellstrom and I'm a sessional instructor at the Department of Political Science. Over the past year, I've started using 3D Game Lab for teaching. This is a web tool for quest-based learning based on the principles of gamification. It changes the incentive structure in the classroom by rewarding learning success. It also gives the students agency. They feel that they have power over their learning. It works like this. The web tool looks like a computer game and I've broken down the curriculum to a series of individual assignments or quests. The students get to choose uh, which quests to complete and submit the quests at their own pace. If I find that there's something left uh, before the assignment can be approved, I send it back. The student can then address whatever is outstanding and this can be done as often as is needed to succeed. When the learning objective is achieved, the student wins experience points, XP. The final grade depends on how many XP the student has won over the whole term. In a traditional class with graded assignments, midterms and finals, the student has to work uh, along the deadline set by the instructor. So the midterm comes along, the students cram as much as they can, and then they hope that the midterm will ask questions on the topics that they actually read. Then they sit in the classroom for an hour, pouring out everything they can remember on a piece of paper. If questions probe topics they didn't anticipate, they're out of luck. Even if the questions are on something that they studied, uh, they might have missed out on something that the prof wanted them to learn. Then they get a less than satisfactory grade. And that's it. There is no real time to stop and address those gaps. The student that got a C might have studied a lot, but still got a bad grade. In quest-based learning, it works in a completely different way. The students pick the assignments that are interesting and schedule their own pace through the material. And because there's always a second chance to learn uh, something that is challenging, the student can keep trying until learning is achieved. This is also why I've uploaded my lectures on YouTube. Uh, they're always available on demand, so when the student is working on an assignment, uh, the video can always be watched again. The results so far, and this is my third term working with the tool, are very encouraging. I've had students who did poorly in the early stages of the term and who would definitely have gotten D's or even F's in the traditional model. And these students made fantastic recoveries and even landed A's because in this model there is always a second chance. The web tool uh, 3D Game Lab also gives me immediate feedback on the student's progress on a much more granular level than I would have received before and in real time. So I can choose if I have to engage uh, in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with a student or address the issue with a class as a whole. And that's what shapes what we do in the classroom. I give feedback on what they need support with and we do in-depth exploration of the materials and labs. For me as an instructor, it has changed my role profoundly. I can focus on being a tutor and facilitator, which is very liberating. Uh, also, the web tool has a quest armory that allows me to share learning tools with instructors across the world. The energy in the classroom has increased uh, tremendously. We're networking the research skills of the entire classroom and the students keep finding fantastic resources online as we work together. I feel I'm using the classroom time much more efficiently. The students come prepared. The discussions are much more sophisticated than they used to be. Uh, so really, you can pry a 3D game lab from my cold dead hands. I'm not going to go back to the traditional way of doing things.